Greetings, everyone. I'm Luke Bryan Smith, and welcome to Enlightened, Empowered, Evolved. I hope everybody's doing well. Wait, I believe everybody's doing well. I have faith everybody's doing well, and everything is unfolding perfectly. I'm excited yet again because I have another extraordinary guest today. Her name is Katja, I think, Valish. I don't want to put I think. I know it. <laughs> no, you I got have it. to be you certain. I have to <laughs> clarify. I have to affirm. Yes. And before she tells you anything, before Katya tells you anything, I'm going to tell you a bit about her. So let me get down to it. And I just lost my place, but I'm going to find it very quickly. So Katya is a trained and certified consciousness and transformation coach and a visionary free thinker. Being an ex-corporate manager, now turned shamanic practitioner, she helps clients to go beyond the performance-driven, rational, and known to ex access the intuitive, invisible realm. Wow. She guides leaders into unfolding their highest potential by aligning mind, heart, and gut through intuition, authentic purpose, and consciousness expansion. Having spent a few months as a spiritual hermit, living with and learning from a shaman about plant medicine, ancient wisdom for well-being and their role in human transformation, she integrates those teachings in her work. Katja is also a university lecturer for transformational experience design and guides clients on personal transformational immersive retreats in the Mexican jungle where she now resides. Wow, amazing. How are you doing today, Katja? I'm doing super well, thank you. <laughs> How wow, are you? so what catches my uh, attention first of all is, and I know we spoke prior a little bit about this, and I just have to say, you now live in the jungle, correct? I do, I do. And you came yes. about getting there, I mean, from your experience with uh, living with a shaman there before, and you just, it just connected and resonated with you and you fell in love, basically fell in love with being there, right? Or, yeah, I yes. fell in love with that place here. Um, about a year ago, I was, um, yeah, staying with a shaman and learning really intensely from him and also about plant medicine. And we got invited to host an ayahuasca ceremony here in this place. It's a beautiful spot in the jungle with a, with a cenote. So if you don't know what the cenote is, that's kind of like um, a sinkhole, a sacred water sinkhole filled with like fresh water, beautiful energy. And that's a spot we got invited to, to host the ceremony at. And once I arrived, I could just not leave anymore. And right. <laughs> since then, right. I've amazing. been here and it has become my home. Yeah. Right. And that, that is absolutely amazing. I love, I can just visualize that right now. Um, mm. And as uh, Katja and I were, were, uh, were saying before that we're going to possibly in the future um, uh, uh, get together and do another segment so that we can see because it's dark there now so that we can kind of see the the landscape around there a little bit through those beautiful windows so yeah that, that'll be we can amazing. Do that outdoors in the outdoor space even down at the cenote that yes. that could be a really nice experience yeah. right 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 so let's just dive into it so you're a trained and certified consciousness and transformation coach okay and a free thing exactly. how did that let's just start right there i want to take it a little bit at a time without getting too far ahead of myself how did that unfold how did you become that did you become a a, a certified consciousness and transformation coach from your experience living with the shaman or did it come before that i mean how did that happen no 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 that came prior so okay. basically i i had a completely different life a few years ago i was living in a big city in berlin i i was working a corporate manager job um, in, in the fashion industry. So really completely different lifestyle. And um, I followed my intuition going to a place in, in Mexico. It just like, I knew I had to go there. The moment when I read the name, I knew I have to go there. Something will happen there that is really important for me. 
Right. I had no no clue what to expect. I love Mexico. I've been there many times. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go and look at this place. They have ruins there. Little did I know what I was in for. And um, on the way there, I met someone, um, crazy dude from the States, uh, told me his entire life story, um, had, had done crazy things. And he was on his way to meet um, his friend, the shaman in the jungle and invited me to come along. And my mind was telling me, no, you can't go with this random stranger. You just heard his life story. Like you'll be right. in danger. Right. Um, but my intuition, my gut feeling told me, no, no, go. Everything oh, will yeah. be fine. And I followed that gut feeling and went with him. We stayed with the shaman. It was my first first experience with plant medicine as well and it just completely shifted um, my perspective on so many things in life and for me it was was the start of a very deep transformational journey on my own yes. like really noticing where my life wasn't aligned with my actual purpose with what I'm here to do and where I needed to do course corrections so that basically led to a few other major decisions like leaving a long-term relationship and deciding to quit my job and um, do a career shift and this is when I discovered coaching I didn't plan to become a coach but also there it just intuitively resonated with me and I thought mm, I'm everything just check started it out. to excuse me everything just started yeah, to exactly. unfold and unfolds if i may uh just interject uh before you get any further into your story and it's an amazing story by the way um Thank you. i just it's just so amazing how when you start aligning um with your intuition okay we'll just we'll just keep with that um there's really Nothing else outside of that that can really, uh, when you really focus on your, your your intuition, that that can deter you. I mean, it it was so such a strong, such a strong pull your intuition has, um, because it's the universe in you, it's God in you speaking with you, uh, that you're willing to leave your comfort zone, you're willing to leave relationships, you're willing to leave what you know, your jobs, and that's just amazing because, and I've shared this before, but. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of um, segments um, by uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer, and he and he he's been talking about that intuition, and he made a uh, he made a let me let me find it mm -hmm. while you continue on. If you want to continue your story, then I want to find it. I don't want to lose that thought, but. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. I, I continue in the meantime. So yes. basically, this is how I um, came, came across coaching. And back then, I didn't plan to um, do that as a career. But the more I got into it, um, I really enjoyed it. And it felt like, okay, this is so natural to me. I'm having conversations with people about deep topics where the intention is to, to help them find the truth for themselves. Right. And then I also know, okay, this, yeah, this, this feels good. This is um, what I want to do. Yes. And I never planned to like live in Mexico or um, combine that with, with plant medicine, but that also kind of developed further on um, while I was really just following intuitive hunches or the signs. So basically the universe was somehow presenting me with the right people, the right opportunities, connecting me with, um, yeah, amazing people amazing places and it didn't all make sense in the beginning but now in hindsight yes. it makes so much sense and this is this is something we all have in us like this inner compass but we have been taught to not trust it anymore we have been right. taught to approach it with rational thinking and to question it and right. I really hope that more people learn to reconnect with it again and that's also kind of part of the work that I do, that I feel I want to help people feel their own frequency again, feel right. what is their essence and tap into this inner, inner guidance that yes. is and connected see, you keep to the saying that and You're exciting me. You're, mm. I'm, I'm always most going to explode <laughs> because it points right at uh, this segment that I took out of uh, a book that I'm reading that I read by Dr. Wayne Dyer. 
and I, I put it into a quote myself. So what it says, mm -hmm. and I know this is going to resonate with you. It says, he said, try on the concept that beliefs restrict you while knowings empower you. Now, when he says knowings, he's talking about that intuition. That's what he's talking about in here, knowing. He said, everything that you believe was handed to you by somebody outside of you, and therefore it has doubt attached to it. Everything that you know comes from within and is etched into the cells of your being and therefore lives within you with an absence of doubt. So that's why you're able to connect with that intuition and make bold moves like that without not saying that it won't be scary because I'm sure, you know, there was a little bit of, uh, but at the same time, you connected with that, with your, you know, your, your knowing inside of you. And that's amazing that you're uh, an example of that. So as you're, you're not just one of those people that are telling people one thing, you're actually an example of that. And that, that's what makes what you do even more powerful because you can share your own experiences to help uh, inspire other people to do the same thing. Yeah, and I, I exactly know how scary that feels, like leaving the comfort zone or kind of que also questioning your entire self-concept and the, the concept of identity that you had about yourself, who you've been, and then kind of just dropping that for you don't know what instead. And you will never know what comes instead because that's the process that just by taking the steps, you will discover it like step by step. You'll get right. the next clue and then the next clue. So it's not that you can figure it out fully and then start making the move out of the comfort zone. Yeah, you don't have to figure it out. Yeah. The thing is, like you said, and it just never gets old me hearing that and just having someone, an extraordinary person like yourself, um, continue to affirm and to uh, make testimony and from your own experience to let me know that, hey, when you're following your intuition, your path, your purpose, you just take that first step and things will start opening up. And just like in your experience, all these different things that you didn't even know you had an interest in at the time or didn't even understand start opening up. So you didn't have to know Oftentimes, um, we're in a space where before we make a move, we have to know from beginning to end mm -hmm. everything. Before we jump into the, the water, per se, we have to know how deep it is. Like, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's also the beautiful mystery of life that you, how boring would it be if you upfront knew what it's, what's in for you, right? So that's, that's the beauty of like really just throwing yourself in and, and seeing what, what comes back. And the only job that you have to do is make sure that you're kind of in your authentic frequency, that you're able to, to really hear your truth, no matter what someone else might be saying, what works for them, what, what is their truth, just cultivating this inner knowing and that will just guide you through it all. In a very right, divine right. way. Mm. Right. That's amazing because, uh, wow, you know, what you also inspire me to say is that, again, what, what you usually find, you usually find your, your uh, purpose in life outside of your comfort zone. So that means when you step out into this unknown, um, by li most of the time listening to your intuition, um, that's when things are going to start happening. That's when life, you're going to start thriving instead of just going through life. I believe mm -hmm. that that's when you're, you're, you're going to align with your purpose. You're going to, things are going to light up. You're really going to find the definition of your, 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 your purpose, your passion, your, your, your true uh, happiness, your authentic self, your, your inner peace, everything is going to be right there. And it's all within you. And from that, that's when these experiences and things are going to unfold that you could have never would have never known. And like you said, another thing you said, because I'm, I'm listening to every word that you're saying, 
another thing that you said is uh, you didn't understand. That reminds me of me. There were certain uh, books at one point that I was trying to read. One was Eckhart Tolle, uh, The Power of Now. Now, when I read that book, someone had given it to me. I read the entire book and it was almost like a different language. I did not, I was not ready for it. But it, even though it was going into my subconscious mind, which was a good thing, my mind, um, I, at the time I didn't understand it. But now I know in hindsight, when I look back, that's why I was given that, you know? Now I reread that book and it's almost like I wrote it. <laughs> it's like, I understand everything in it now. Yeah, and that, how that's important. Also being present but also is. when yeah and when it comes to timing there's also no such thing as forcing results that you expect from yourself to be at a certain point at a certain time it's it takes as long as it takes and when you're ready it will happen so right. taking right. away this force and just accepting that wherever you are on that journey is the right place to be even if it feels feels uncomfortable and there's a terminology for it that's it's called the liminal space right. and the liminal space is the um, yeah space of transition and most of the time when when we're in a process of transition or change we just want to rush through that liminal space we don't want to be in there we are here and we don't want to be here anymore and we want to get to there but There is so much magic in there. It's like an incubator, like the process of metamorphosis, like the chrysalis. And the, the longer you manage to stay in there, the more beauty can unfold, the more you can grow your wings, the stronger your wings become. So I always encourage everyone to not wanting to push through that, but just try to embrace the uncomfortableness of the moment as much as you can. Wow, amazing, because that's exactly the word that I was about to say as soon as that you uh, you you paused right there. I was going to say uh, uh, embrace and allowing. Um, and basically, while you're speaking, that's what it's reminding me of, words like embrace, allowing, uh, going with the flow, um, non-resistance, non-attachment, um, just appreciating everything that happens in life because it's all unfolding perfectly even though it doesn't look like it, but everything is shaping you if you, if you, if you work with it instead of against it, even though it, it can be difficult. Um, but the difficulty is usually in here. You know, we, mm -hmm. we perceive as something's difficult or emotionally um, challenging for us. We perceive that in our thoughts. And I'm not saying that if you're getting hit over the head with a rock that, oh, you decide whether it hurts or not. No, we understand it hurts. <laughs> it, it does hurt, but What I'm saying is that, is that um, we label it, yeah. Yeah, we live, uh, things are unfolding for our own good to teach us something, you know, things that we're going through. And it's all for the purpose of getting us to, you know, our higher self. And that's what I really believe. And, and since I, I think I believe that way now, or I think, and no, I know, okay, because I was just reading stuff, stuff about beliefs, okay? No, me knowing that, that's how it is for me now. Just knowing that knowing that everything that happens for me is for my benefit, for my highest good. And um, as long as I'm not doing anything intentionally to impose or hurt anyone else, I'm doing the right thing, you know? So. And it's yes. all about unraveling that. Sometimes I like to compare life as right. or use the metaphor of a game. So we're, we're all being dropped here. Right. And in the first few years of our life, we, we pick up all that conditioning, the programming. So everybody has, has their baggage full of stuff. Everybody has something they're struggling with and they get a certain set of beliefs. And um, then the rest of the life, we basically work to unpack that again, right. to, to come back Undo. to who we yeah, truly are who we've forgotten we are who we really and, are yeah that's that's amazing and i totally uh, uh resonate with that so yes um yes so you spoke prior to this that you do um you 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 say work from home but what you described to me does not sound like work to me. <laughs> that sounds like pure um purpose and enjoyment. And I know there is work because I shouldn't say it doesn't sound like work because I create e even doing even the 
uh, being involved with this platform, it, it, it's a certain amount of work, but it's, I think a lot of times when people say work, they, they, they affiliated with something that they don't like uh, doing, enjoy doing. But I have to remember and remind myself, it, that's not the only definition of work. You know, you can do work that takes a lot of um, from you, but you enjoy it. That's what your purpose is. But it doesn't mean that it's not, it's not uh, just like working on myself. It's not an easy task, but it's worth it. And I, and I enjoy doing it, learning every day, just like with my, what this says, I show this all the time, but it's, you know, no, always learning. Yeah. Always learning. Um, even that takes work because you got to actually do something. You can't just sit there. You got to go out there. Like, you know, I read, I, I, I reach out to people um, like you and, you know, I'm interested and uh, it takes work to do that. So, yeah. So what do you do from home again? You, you shared with that with me. Yeah. So I basically, if we want to call it work, but um, to make a little excursion on that, once you find your purpose, right. it work, work just becomes an extension of your personality because you're doing what you have been doing anyways in your free time or what you what you enjoy doing what just comes naturally to you so it doesn't feel like i'm trading time against money or i have to like go to this place and do things i hate uh, to get paid so that's a, the the new definition of work and i wish that everyone can find that one thing for him or herself and and is able to move into that but yeah back to your question what i do i so I uh, coach people, mostly online, re related to those topics, finding purpose, finding more authenticity, developing their intuition. Um, so people who are in transitions and who want to go deeper and who want to explore more than just their rational mind and the, the existing paradigm and really want to see what's beyond that. How do I also connect with the spiritual and the metaphysical and those parts in me that the Western society is probably not um, acknowledging so much. Right, and right, um, exactly. the other thing that I do is I take people on transformational immersions here because the, this place is here, this beautiful spot uh, on earth here in Mexico, it has a very powerful energy. And being right. in nature, being immersed in nature really helps people. They do that for a while and they're just with themselves and focus on themselves, no distractions, no, no other bullshit. That will reconnect you with your own frequency, with your own being. And this is the perfect setting to go on, on deep personal development journeys. And um, yeah, I curate that for people. Um, I, I guide them through it. Some of it might include plant medicine if they're interested in exploring that as well, just like expanding the state of consciousness and and viewing themselves from a completely different perspective to to reach answers um, and then of course helping them with the psychedelic integration and seeing how the knowledge and wisdom that has been passed to them or that ha they have come across uh, in this experience how this can be integrated in the daily life like how can you take that and create a sustainable positive shift in right. your life that brings you more into alignment more into alignment of like the mind but also the heart and and the intuition wow amazing very well orchestrated too as you were speaking i i was just visualizing everything you were saying <laughs> it, it's hard not to get uh, caught it, 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 it's, it's i just love uh to listen to people talk about um uh, just their their gifts and their passions and and what they've discovered it's just uh, even if some of the, the the things that you said i i am not familiar with or whatever it's just amazing just wow and i want to ask you um i will of course incorporate uh the links that you shared with me into the description of this mm -hmm. segment um, once i upload it but while you're here how can people uh, find you? How can people find, um, you know, they want to seek out uh, your services, your help, your your perspectives, uh, or whatever? How, how can they do that? Yeah, just just get in touch. You find me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, although I would say most active I'm on, on Instagram. I also have a website. Um, I have a few What's videos the website? on YouTube. 
The, the website is my name, like www.katiawallish.com. Katia com. Okay. Now, like I yeah. said, I'll put all those. And where yeah. else? YouTube? On YouTube and Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. So on the on most um, social media platforms. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Amazing. And, and or here like, in the jungle. Uh, yes. In, in Akamal. So <laughs> can you swing from, do you have uh, 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 ropes and vines from trees? Can you swing from them? No, <laughs> no, the vines are not that strong. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Cause uh, yeah, that, that would be amazing. But uh, I'm sure there's a lot of um, beautiful um, wildlife there too. A lot of, uh, amazing mm -hmm. birds mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Monkeys yeah. just passing by in the afternoon. It's like, wow, I, how lucky am I that this is my garden? I'm, I'm in paradise. Yes, yeah. and the sounds that you hear. Wow. Crickets, amazing. I'm not sure if you can hear them now, but like crickets at night, that, that makes you sleep so well. Yeah, crickets. I like the sound of crickets. And uh, I shared with you earlier, um, I like the Caribbean um, Antigua. Uh, especially and there they have uh what, what you call tree frogs and it sounds like little whistling like and mm. beautiful to hear yeah we also have them here it just sometimes i just sit uh, sit outside at night um, and then close to the cenote that's where they are where the swamp is and it's like a concert they're yes, communicating with each other and yeah a beautiful. nature's concert singing to you wow amazing Yes. So before we conclude this, um, this segment, are there any um, last uh, ideas or anything that you would like to share? Well, in general, I really want to like encourage everyone just really trust your heart and your inner knowing because, because you know it and you are the creator of your life and um whenever it feels good to you just trust that and go and explore allow yourself to do that don't think too much about what other people might might think what um what consequences it might have just allow yourself to really unpack who you are deep down and what makes you happy wow amazing well spoken and hopefully no i know it that people uh, receive that um, mm. with within themselves, um, with with kindness and peace, and all the intentions that you uh, sent it out with. Thank you very much. I appreciate you being here. And you know, I I usually say this at the beginning of my show, but I want to say this. I believe uh, time is one of our most precious assets. So for you to to spend some of your time. Um, here with me, I appreciate it very much. And I just want to extend my sincerest gratitude to you. Thank mm, you. Thank you. Same goes for you. Thank you for taking the time and magically finding me and, and connecting. And yeah, it just shows again how trust the resonance, trust the, the vibration. Right. Yeah. Vibration, thank you so friend. much. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. And thank you everyone for watching. I'm certain. Uh, that you are enjoying this or will enjoy this as much as I have. Thank you very much. Enlightened, empowered, evolve. Thank you. See you soon.